Hey there. Today I want to be going over one of the biggest weight loss tips that I can actually give you. And we focus so much on this when uh, people try to lose weight. But I have to say we are more than just a number. And uh, I hate when people sit and focus on this number. So I am Janice Thornton. I am a body transformation specialist and online personal trainer. I like to work with people more than just what um, is, you know, people think about when they, to lose weight that they just need to be focusing on diet and exercise. But I hate to tell you there's a lot more to it and a lot of it is mindset as well. And I like to help people focus on their mindset when it comes to losing weight. So the one big tip that I can tell you is to actually get rid of your scale. How many of you get on that scale? every single day. And I can't say I'm not perfect in that regards because there are times when I just want to be like, ooh, let me see what I weigh. And so I was like, why am I doing this to myself? It's the one biggest tip I can say, ooh, if you can get rid of the scale or you don't even have a scale, that's okay. You don't need one. I've got a bug just flashing by me. So really, because if you think about it, the scale is such a liar. It can't tell if you're healthy or unhealthy at your weight. All it does is it always just looks at this number that is on this that's on the scale. It's kind of relevant to where you are to gravity. So again, scale is only a number. The scale doesn't look at your energy level. It doesn't look at your strength, your cholesterol, your blood pressure. It doesn't look at how confident you are, how beautiful and talented you are. The scale can't tell you any of that. So the sooner that you can get the scale out of your life, actually the more successful weight loss you're gonna end up having. Because think about it. You know, I can put two 130 pound people together next to each other and they say the same number on the scale. However, when it comes to 130 just skinny person, a lot of times these skinny people don't have great cholesterol, they don't have great blood pressure, and they're not healthy on the inside when they're not someone who exercises and eats healthy on a regular basis. But you take someone who eats healthy, someone who works out on a regular basis and they're 130 pounds of solid muscle, you know, that's awesome. Or you could take you know, two people who are 150 pounds or even 170 pounds. There's, you, know, you can take a woman who is 5'10", there's no way she should weigh 125. She should weigh probably close to the 150 to 170 because she's tall. And we have to take that into consideration. If she's nice and muscular and everything is great, then who cares what the scale can say? Because think about it, muscle and fat, a pound is a pound, regardless if it's muscle or fat. However, muscle is so much more compact than fat, so everything else is compact. The biggest thing I'd recommend is that you do measurements on your body. That's, that's okay to do measurements. You know, how do your clothes fit? And how do you feel? People really underestimate how they feel. They just get so attached to weighing themselves on the scale. So a little trick for you is to, you know, get on the scale, see what you weigh. Take a, drink a huge glass of water. Go weigh yourself. You probably have gained some weight. Or when you first wake up in the morning, get on the scale. Then use the bathroom, come back, and step on the scale. You probably lost about a pound. So what does that show you? There's so many variables that happen when that can cause your weight to fluctuate anyway. I mean, my God, if I weighed myself, there's times when I can weigh myself at the beginning of the morning and weigh one thing, and then at the end of the day, I've gained three or four pounds just because of what I've been eating. And Oh my gosh, if you looked at that, people would go insane. So please don't do that if you're big on weighing yourself on the scale. But I was just doing it for a day just kind of as a little test. And it's like, wow, because then you weigh yourself the next day. I'm like, oh, I lost those three, four pounds that I gained yesterday. So again, God, all I can say is please don't use that scale. I have friends who are just obsessed with the scale. And honestly, it, they're just like, oh my God, Janice, I haven't lost a pound and I did everything right. Well, let's focus on all those right things that you're doing instead of what this dumb number is saying. So I hope this has helped you. And if any of this resonates with you, I would love to work with you if weight loss is a goal for you. 
please check out my website, JaniceRThornton.com. Um, it will be in the description of uh, this video. And I would, again, I would love to work with you if weight loss is a goal for you. Uh, if you um, want a mindset change, or if you're someone who is learn, wanting to learn um, how to get off medications or a family member who wants to be able to get off medications more naturally. So again, I would love to chat with you. So again, go visit my website, JaniceRThornton.com, and let's talk soon. Thanks.